go back at uh, VOD review and look. But, uh, you know, when it comes to streaming and interactivity and, like, getting really into the sets and into the action, watching the player streams actually is pretty hype, man. It's the closest thing you'll get to a webcam. But in any case, here we go. This is supposed to say winner's quarterfinals, and it will in just a moment. Uh, Rivers versus Inu. This is you're looking at a repeat champion in Rivers, and you're looking at a consistent top three place. I I'm gonna say top three placer. Uh, Inu has really been placing top eight consistently over the course. I would say of honestly the past six months or so. I would say that like the past twelve weeks or something. Or yeah, something like that. Um, and yeah, just looking pretty sharp, has I believed peaked at second place, but has honestly been in top three multiple times, so really good Zelda. Rivers has just been such a force in these brackets, kind of impossible to take out, and that's the idea because he is partnered, with, uh, as you'll see his logo, in, in with the rest of them on the bottom of your screen, rotating. Uh, it's just been tough to deal with in these, in these brackets, doing sneaky stuff like that, like, you aren't expecting monkey barrels. Unless you watch this week, <laughs> watch this every week. I know Inu probably to some degree knows that Rivers does that, but you kind of just, you know, the set just started. You're down a little bit. It's just one of those things you don't expect, but but you'll always see if you play against Rivers because Rivers does have a tendency to kind of bully a little bit, and not even intentionally. It's just kind of taking options where it's just like, why did you get hit by that? Very very in the nature of Rivers as a person, but. Mounting more of a lead now, a whole stock ahead. Inu gonna have to settle down, and Inu has been pretty, uh, has taken Rivers to some pretty good games before. Uh, Rivers doesn't, you know, had a rough week last week as far as having some close sets, but traditionally, you know, has also had gone through these DNA brackets only losing one game an entire an entire day, maybe two. So like, even taking a game is tough. Uh, so Inu might be in that ballpark or that 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 place of still looking to take that first game off uh, Rivers, I want to say maybe has already. But either way, it's a big deal. So more barrel shenanigans. Inu's really just kind of having to be patient and respect all of the options that are otherwise kind of trolly from Rivers, if I may say so. I mean, they're op they're optimal. They, they work. So as much of a troll as it feels like having the peanuts shot off the ledge, I mean, you know, Diddy Kong just has a peanut gun. Like, that, that, that's, that's the move. Almost finding Rivers' first stock instead, gonna lose her second stock. Uh, Alright, there we go. Evening things right back out. Good play coming out from Inu. Now just has a little bit of a mountain to climb here. Uh, it's not like a super huge mountain, but a stock against Rivers, a st you know, is, is a pretty sizable mountain. At least a pretty steep hill. Okay. Um, gonna avoid that dare. You, you're gonna. If you watch this weekly, you're not going to go through one week without, oh my lord, uh, without seeing at least one, I, I, you know, I'm going to up that, without seeing at least three to four banana dares at ledger, or down throw dare, which is another one. Basically seeing people get dared above the ledge. You, you, you see that a lot in these brackets anytime Rivers is basically in a set. More barrels, yeah. So that that's the name of the game. Um, I actually I wasn't even looking. Uh, I, I I was trying to get something ready uh, via stream, but uh, yeah, game one going over the rivers. Uh, I believe that was another barrel coming in. Oh, that's that's not the. There we go. That's what I want. Yeah, it is a pretty. It is quite literally a, a, a nutty hitbox, man. I don't know. This character is Diddy is definitely on something. Uh, if you really know how to exploit. Which Rivers does. Rivers has an insane amount of time on Diddy Kong uh, in in Smash in general. So in this game, obviously, especially that that is the case, and these barrels are controllable in this game <laughs> uh, to a point where that hitbox will catch you. Even on options where you think you're safe, uh, I believe, yeah, because the first stock I think was a punish on a Phantom, and it was the same with that with that one that we just watched. So. 
There we go. But, no. This was... Yeah, that was two stocks taken like that. I don't know if anything's changed. I think we're going to be heading right back to where we were. Could be wrong, though. Program alert, though. We are going to be seeing Luigi Kid 64 against a key coming up next. I'm actually due to add a little pop-up on, on the stream that tells you that. Maybe I'll try and do that for next week. A little, little upgrade for the stream. Yeah, Dare and Neutral is another thing you'll see come out of Rivers a lot. Seems, it seems to kind of catch people off guard fairly often. The thing I'm actually enjoying about Rivers here is, especially when you get a lead, and I mean, this is also just... So sometimes you have a tendency to like mash when you get comfortable or, or you feel like whatever, but like we're still really seeing Rivers. Or, wow, uh, really respecting uh, a lot of Zelda's like options and Inu's options in general. Because overall playing like super patient, you know, really no rush to get in there. He could be spamming monkey flips, could be kind of just running and doing stuff. I mean, he's kind of doing that now, but that's because he's got kind of had the room to do so. And Inu's now in that position where it's just like, okay, what, you know, what do I, how do I deal with this? Gonna miss that elevator. We got to see Inu ram like three of those against Gilhu instead. Is gonna get that confirm into the up air. That'll definitely kill. And honestly, not that really far out of it. Alright, it's going to be F smash at ledge. You'll also be seeing plenty of that at some point. So many times you'll see Rivers throw the banana and then get the F smash immediately thereafter. Solid connect on the lightning kick. Not enough to do anything other than some damage at this percent though. And Inu definitely can tell thinking about what they're doing next. Because you're not really seeing a whole lot of quick reaction, a little bit of thinking, and then Rivers continuing to be, you know, the, sometimes the patient player he could be as well. Fishing around in neutral. Uh, Rivers knows exactly what Inu wants. Throwing it out plenty there in, in the lightning kick. Yeah, on the ledge, scary place to be against Rivers. Again, you'll see that banana into dare confirm a lot of times per week, and does get the lightning kick finally. Catching Rivers monkeying around just enough to, to land it, and actually, at the very least, even the stock count, despite whatever, you know, the percentages say at the moment. Looking for some more cheeky barrels. I think Inu is a little bit wise to that at the moment, so I don't know if you'll see it, but this is... Potentially winner stock for Inu. We'll see what confirm Rivers can find if he can find. And no confirm instead. That was just going to be a dash attack. Punished by an up smash. That was going to be 2 0 for Rivers. Moving on into winner semis. Um, I'm going to have to look back at the racket and see if they've lost any games today. We'll oftentimes go these rackets without actually losing a single game. Um, well, actually, that hasn't happened yet. He lost, there, there was one where he only lost one game. And then another one where I think he lost maybe two, maybe. And it wasn't until, like, Grands. But, yeah, so we got actually a pretty solid day uh, at the moment. Bracket looking pretty nice here in Winner's Quarters. As you will see, Rivers is going to be moving on the Winner's Semis. The winner of Newt and Andromeda will go on to play Rivers. That Either way, that'll be good. You're either going to be seeing an Inkling slash Falco or a uh, big... Penguin in DDD coming out from Newt. And then on the other side of things, looks like Zane already advanced. And it's been a minute since we've seen Zane's duck hunt. But it, it's it's really good. Um, so that's actually going to be pretty fun to watch. Uh, so that's going to be Zane taking on the winner of Key or Luigi Kid, who I believe is next. Let me... Uh, I might might be them. I, I, I'm pretty sure it probably is Key and Luigi Kid, but... Could be wrong. <laughs> 